I'm going to give you two exceptions to the rule of not trading. The opportunities I had, I don't really see much anymore. I was lucky. I was in the right place at the right time. But there are two types of guys who I, I think could give it a shot. Exception number one, you're young, you live at home, you're willing to risk a year in your prime, and you found a prop shop that lets you trade with no money down like I did and that has access to a lot of leverage and that has access to good training. I have not seen an opportunity um, like that present itself in a long time. I haven't seen a major day trading company like like my firm was, which, which no longer exists. Um, you know, unfortunately, these opportunities do not seem to exist anymore. As I said, I was in the right place at the right time. And nowadays, most prop shops will require you to put cash down. That is just not the right move, guys, because that small amount of, you're going to need like 30, 40 grand, you know, and, and that is not the place for your money. If you have 20, 30, 40 grand, just put it in a damn business and, and start making consistent money, okay? Do not gamble with your own money and do not gamble with your life savings because you cannot afford to lose that. Okay, I get it. You're trying to get out of wage slavery, but let's say you're in your 20s, your late 20s or your early 30s, and 25 grand is your life savings. You lose that savings and that sets you back four or five years of having to work a job, okay, to save that amount again. Even if you have like 50 grand, I mean, you cannot afford to lose that money, right? And to be able to trade, you have to be able to afford to lose what you have, um, or you have to have enough money that you can that you can take a fifty thousand dollar hit, right? Because sometimes this shit happens. So having your own money in play is just not is just not an option. Um, that's like saying you want to be a pro poker player. Okay, everyone's gonna look at you like you're crazy. I know some guys who make a living at that, but you know, pro gambling guys compared to owning your own business, it's just not the way to go. Exception number two, if you can get a job at a prop desk of a hedge fund or an institution, or you are a quant, you have a rocket science, you know, the IQ of um, a brain surgeon and you're deciding to go into trading do it okay if if a prop desk or a hedge fund you know is willing to interview you these guys have the execution the know-how the leverage you know the information edge everything you need to make money and like the worst traders there make two hundred three hundred thousand dollars these guys make absolute fortunes I had a kid email me when he read my previous article on, you know, why you won't get rich off the stock market, and he said, "Hey, you know, I've got a hedge fund, um, you know, that might be interested in me, and, you know, do you think I should do it? You, you know, you're really against the market. Hell yes, I think you should do it. Okay, that's an option that I wouldn't have had. I don't have the education, um, you know, I wouldn't have the connections to get that job. A, a lot of things. Okay, but hell yes, take that job." Okay, that, that could be your ticket to making four or five hundred thousand dollars at twenty five, and you would make way more money than I would, um, you know, as a trader because those guys are going to have all the inside information that that I didn't have, and that my buddies didn't have, and those traders, those guys who work at hedge funds, like you know, a lot of those guys last five, ten, fifteen years, and and you will make a fortune if you can get in. Um, you know, at a hedge fund or at like a desk of a major bank. However, these guys are going to be looking for um, an Ivy League education, uh, a degree in economics, finance, or, you know, quant, like a, a mathematics type major or a programming type major. If you have one of those or you have, you know, a combination of those and you're just coming out of school, then it's 100% worth a shot to interview with these guys, okay? 100%, I would, I would say that is, a, that is um, a, even a much better exception and a much better option than number one, which is what I did. And that's it. Those are the, the two exceptions that I would allow for. 
everyone else should not be trading whatsoever.